Regular maintenance on your Lux X Core should be performed each day before play or after a day when you've played in extreme conditions that may have involved dirt or sand in order to preserve the life of your bolt system O-rings. Standard maintenance involves simply unscrewing the forward cap of your bolt system, servicing the bolt and the bolt guide. In order to access those components, we're simply going to grab hold of our core here at the gold component and unscrew the bolt cap. Unscrewing the bolt cap, we will remove both the bolt and bolt cap as well as exposing our bolt guide. To begin our service, we're going to first press on the bolt face, at which point it will come out the base of the bolt cap. And now we can see our main moving component in our core, which is the bolt itself. Using a clean cloth, you want to remove any excess lubricant as well as dirt and debris from your bolt before moving on. Here we can see there are three O-rings on the system. Forward here is your barrel or breech sealing O-ring. The second that is somewhat free floating is going to be your bolt bumper. And then finally your main bolt sail or main bolt O-ring. Taking factory lubricant, we're gonna just take a small amount and apply it to our main bolt sail O-ring. Only using enough lubricant to fill the groove on either side of the O-ring and not leave excess. Setting that aside, we can now address our bolt cap. Looking inside the front of our bolt cap, we'll see a 1770 O-ring. Now this O-ring is exposed to the most dirt and debris of any O-ring in our system because it is located closest to the breech. So we want to make sure that this O-ring is clean of all debris, dirt, dust, paint, etc. Anything that could end up in your breech can end up in this O-ring. So we want to make sure it's very clean, and if necessary, you can go ahead and pull it out and clean the groove underneath it. Day-to-day -day maintenance, we're simply going to take a small amount of lubricant and apply it to that inner O-ring, again, just enough to fill the grooves on either side. Reinstalling our bolt into our cap through the base and leaving it slightly extended prior to reassembly. Prior to reassembly, we're going to go ahead and clean our final two O-rings in our day-to-day -day maintenance. Right there on our bolt guide by wiping them down. And again, just applying enough lubricant to fill the groove on either side. Now, standard maintenance before day of play does not involve breaking down the rest of the core. However, we will cover that in the next section of our maintenance video. Reassembly involves simply sliding the front core down to the gold section and threading the system together. You do not need to apply much torque, simply enough so that it is snug, hand tight. And that is your basic maintenance for the Lux X Core. Complete disassembly of the Lux X Core, particularly its rear components, is going to be much less frequent than other maintenance of our core, which would involve the forward components. The full disassembly involves separating the rear firing can from the rear bolt cap by grasping the firing can as well as the lift cap and unscrewing the two components. In doing so, the purple spool will come free and clear and you'll have your bolt system broken down into the following components. You'll have your firing can, your bolt cap, which also contains your bolt, as well as your spool. Inside your rear bolt cap, looking down in through the largest opening, you will see a gold component with a spring in the center of it. This is your shuttle. In order to recover the shuttle, we're going to take our spool, place it down into the shuttle, and pull forward. The shuttle itself will come out, and now we have all of our service components removed from our bolt system. To start, we're gonna take a look and inspect the inside of our rear bolt cap. Using a clean rag, we're gonna remove any excess dirt or lubricant that's inside this chamber. Once that's clean, we can move on to our shuttle, wiping again any old lubricant off the O-rings and assuring the slots that run the perimeter are clean and clear as well. 
Finally, we're gonna take a look at the spring to make sure it is straight, true, and unbound prior to reassembly. Prior to reassembly, we're gonna take a small amount of factory lubricant and apply it to both the forward and base O-rings on the outside of the shuttle. With this component lubricated, we're going to then insert it back into the bolt cap with the spring facing away from the base of the bolt system. Next, we're gonna address the four O-rings that are present on our spool, the two forward O-rings and the two rear. Wiping them clean, just as we have with the rest of the kit, we're gonna make sure that there's no old lubricant or debris on the O-rings themselves. Prior to reinstallation, simply take a small amount of factory lubricant, apply it to the two rear O-rings, and followed by a small amount on the forward two O-rings. Now these O-rings themselves do not need a large amount of lubrication, only enough for a surface coating. With our spool properly lubricated, we're going to then insert it down into our rear bolt cap base. It's paying attention to line the center of the spool, which has this large opening, with the spring, which resides inside the shuttle. Now there will be some free play, even though it is inserted into the shuttle. That free play will go away once we go ahead and screw our forward components onto the system. Again here we're only looking for snug, we do not need to add much torque at all, and now we have our kit back together. Finally we want to look down through the bolt face where you can see the purple tip of the spool protruding from the inner bolt face. You want to press on that purple tip and see that you receive a small amount of movement just to make sure that that spool is capable of movement and is not bound. After you've performed that test, you've now completed all of the major service on your Lux X Core.